In this week's episode, what she thought was an alternative career path now brings her sweet success. But first, we show you how a domestic worker ended up at the United Nations. When her husband unexpectedly left her, Cindy Wemagona hit rock bottom. She now had to look after three children on her own and try to make ends meet on her meager earnings as a domestic worker. But this Eastern Cape woman responded positively to her dire situation and took brave decisions. From scrubbing floors and washing dishes for a living, Cindy Wei ended up at the United Nations and later became an award-winning author. There couldn't be a better way to spend her golden years. Cindy Wei Magona deserves this life of tranquility. She has achieved it all, from working for the United Nations to publishing more than 120 children's books. Ironically, what Cindy Iwe initially saw as adversity is precisely what propelled her to excellence. Her troubles started in the 1960s when she fell pregnant. She lost her job as a teacher because government laws of the time discriminated against married women. When you were married, this was for all women teachers, all races. You were not the first to be hired. Men, married or not, were hired, but women, single women, were, were given preference. At the same time, there weren't many job opportunities for black people. A woman she met in Cape Town employed her as a domestic worker. She told me straight to my face, I don't have a room for you. You'll have to sleep in the garage. She had a car there. I needed that job. I said, it's okay, madam. Now that she had a job, she thought she could finally focus on supporting her family. But out of the blue, Cindy Wei's husband packed his bags and returned to the Eastern Cape for good, without any explanation. Leaving her alone to take care of her two children and another one on the way. I felt absolutely, absolutely dreadful, stupid, betrayed, but I blamed myself. Four long years of manual labor, and then Lady Luck showed up. Somebody in my street got a job as she was married. And then there was a vacancy in her school, and she thought of me. And she encouraged me to apply talked to the school board secretary, and I got the job in Langa. There was a shortage of teachers in Cape Town in the 1970s. The Bandu Education Department had no option but to allow Cindy Iwe to return to the classroom. Through a local human rights organization, she managed to register and study via correspondence with the University of London doing A-levels. And her hard work attracted another life-changing opportunity. I was at a library in town, and then I saw a notice right there on the wall, this, you know, announcing that the, the deadline for application for a certain scholarship was approaching, 30th November. And I thought, why not try? Cindy Iwe gave it a bash 
and to her surprise, she secured a scholarship. Her life was now taking a whole new direction. She packed her bags, left her children with her mother in Guguletu and headed to New York to study at the University of Columbia. While in the U.S., Cindy worked extremely hard and became a top candidate among applicants for a position at the United Nations Department of Public Communications. In 1984, she was officially hired as a broadcaster for anti-apartheid programs. Coming back to the country every two years on um, home leave, you, you keep thinking, oh my God, I hope nobody knows. I hope the government doesn't know. You were always scared of breaking the law. For the next 20 years, Cindy Wei stayed with the United Nations. During those years, she also launched her career as an author. To date, Cindy Wei has written more than 120 children's books, poetry, an autobiography, and short stories. First of all, she writes for adults brilliantly and, you know, very emotively. And then she manages to translate her writing into children's work, which is not addressed down to children, it's for children. When life became unfair, Cindy Wemagona responded with courage, transforming herself into a celebrated broadcaster and author. She's taught me to be humble, taught me to forgive, and taught me to move on because if you carry anything, the burden is too heavy and then you can't move on. If that man had not walked out of my life, I wouldn't be the woman I am today. So sometimes even the lemons in our lives can be stepping stones. It depends on your response. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Memagona. As always, we appreciate your feedback. Against all odds at enca.com. You can also be in touch with us on Twitter and Facebook. Still to come, she decided to think out of the box, and as a result, she enjoys sweet success. <laughs>